Most experiments don't work. They don't work the first time. Often, they don't work the second, third, fourth, fifth times. But then the Eureka moments, you know, occasionally, it's really awe-inspiring. My name is Professor Jeff Arrington. I'm an Australian Laureate Fellow at the University of Sydney. My main interest for, for virtually the whole of my career has been trying to understand how cells grow and divide. We work on a bacterium called Bacillus subtilis. Like many bacteria, it can divide and replicate itself in about 20 minutes. It has 4 million base pairs of double-stranded DNA, and that means that it has to be able to, every 20 minutes, completely replicate those 4 million bases absolutely perfectly without any changes in the DNA structure. Working with bacterial cells enables us to, us to make very rapid progress and get deep understanding of very important biological problems. When I look back at my career, I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that, you know, we were, we were really among the pioneers of understanding how those very fundamental processes worked in, in bacterial cells. The discovery of antibiotics for, for decades was done by just taking random chemicals and looked to see if they killed the bacterium. And it turned out that some of the functions we were interested in, this, you know, these fundamental uh, processes like cell division were, you know, potential new targets for antibiotics. And I've actually had two spin-out companies now, both of which have been looking really for, for novel antibiotics. Number three looks really good. Wow. The other line of research is on some very strange bacteria that are called L-forms. So it's like they're not regenerating their cell wall and you can see there's like a ghost. Yeah, these are really strange. So most bacteria have this thick cell wall on, on the outside, so that when penicillin acts on that and stops them from making the cell wall, the cells are killed. But it turns out that for most bacteria, if you get the conditions right, you can actually grow them without a cell wall. And they call these things L-forms. And that's, that's turned out to be very interesting. It's, it's got us into all, all kinds of other interesting areas of science, not least the origins of life. As soon as we published our first paper on this, we started to get emails from people who were working on the origins of life, because they're trying to think about how very primitive cells would have divided. I was at Oxford for 25 years, and in the second half of that period, I was actually at a wonderful place called the Sir William Dunn School of Pathology, and it has incredibly strong connections with Australia. It's also the place where penicillin was purified by Florian Chain. And so being elected to the Australian Academy of Science means a great deal to me. And although I've only been in Australia for three years, I see this as a wonderful opportunity to engage with other Australian scientists, uh, potentially to make a difference in bringing my expertise and experience from, from the UK to, to Australia.